In today's video we talk about Axie Infinity, how to farm SLP faster, how to efficiently play the game, and how to play the game, and let's go! So Axie Infinity, it's the number one game right now, well, number one in earning money. Number one game that can give you money while playing the game. It's a play to earn game, but also pay to play game. In order to play, you have to be a scholar, which we will be talking about later. Fun fact, subscribing is free and liking the video is free. It will help the channel out and it will help me and support me. First, I didn't buy these with my own money. I don't have 85k lying around, which is $1,700. I borrowed money to play this game so I can earn money. So it's an investment. Once I reach 85k, I will pay the person I borrowed money from. After the debt has been paid, all the income will be mine. Once I earn enough money, I will buy new axes. So I can do scholars so I can help people. If you don't know about scholars, it's there are two things. One is manager and one is scholar. For example, I'm the manager and you're my scholar. I will buy the axes for you so you can play for free and we will just take percentage. For example, 50-50, I get 50% of the income, you get 50% of the income. We're playing for free and earning and I'm earning as well. Others have like 60-40, 70-30, which is a huge gap. Playing free is pretty pretty good deal. You didn't buy, pay anything. Uh, right now, in order to play this game, it's around eighty-five thousand pesos and up. You can buy those lower end axes, which is five hundred dollars, three hundred dollars each, three six nine, so nine hundred dollars, which is fifty thousand axie team. But most likely, you won't be able to win any games because they're not that good. That's why they're cheap. Because that's why because they're not good, not good enough to fight because they have bad cards we will talk about that later i will be doing scholars as well in the future because i want to help with financial problems it's nice to help and it feels good to help so in the future the person watching this and supporting my videos you might be a scholar in the future and start to earn money playing a game and earning money that's that's a gamer's dream a dream come true for any gamer out there and with axie infinity they made that so now i'll be teaching you about the game the me game mechanics I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about the game, but no one is doing it. So I did it myself. I studied the game myself because everyone else is focused about the money. You have to study the game to actually know what's happening, to efficiently play it. That's what I've done in all the games I played. I study the game and then I excel on the game. If only I could do that in my studies. That would be great. Oh, this is Axie Infinity. Uh, show you. This is your energy. Um, right now, the game is, doesn't let you recharge your energy because uh, there are <clears throat> millions of players, like every day. It was unplayable before. I'll show you footage of me playing it that I couldn't even play, always disconnecting and reconnecting. So what they did was they changed this to 20 energy per day. They will fix it again in the future where you can actually gain energy for the whole day. <clears throat> but right now, every 8 a.m., in my time you will have 20 energy refilled then after that you finish your 20 energy uh you don't gain anymore the timer's just there because it, you used to earn energy a huge update on axie infinity daily adventure has changed to 100 slp to 50 slp and daily quest from 50 to 25 so 20 75 slp per day is what you gain but it's not entirely bad because with this, the value of SLP is increasing. So lower SLP gain, but higher value for SLP. So it's a win. For those who have been saving their SLPs, like me, we have it good. Since we save huge chunks of SLP, we're doing really good. Really good numbers for you. It depends. Sometimes for me, it depends. 14 is already good. 14 peso for SLP is good. That's huge amount of money. If it reaches 20, that would be great. Huge comeback. And you already get pay. Uh, you're dead. The mechanics of the game, since now you actually need to know this, unlike before, who just people who just keep farming. Now you need to know how to play the game. So these are your axes. These are my axes, at least, and these are my cards. These are your damage, and these are your shields. Uh, you will have to practice on adventure on how to use these axes if you are new. But if you're an experienced player, normally, uh, like this. If you have a beast axe, these two, huge amount of damage. Uh, and then this is a bonus and uh, since it, you do two additional cards which is these two and combine it with this huge amount of damage so pureness of your axes this is the parts of your axes which 
is mine is pure so everything i do with these cards have bonus damage pureness of your axes aren't everything the cards makes the axie good and makes it more valuable did you know top players of axie don't even have pure bred axes pure breed they're called floor axes which is a mixture of different types of axes these are the parts these are eyes ears back mouth horn and tail there are bonuses as long as you have these same cards of your axes which is beast these are beast cards you have bonus damage but if you have good cards the enemy can't even attack you or hit you because you're always stunned or they go through your shield so you die faster so cards make the axes va very valuable even if you don't have complete sets of parts for your axes top players are floor axes or chapsoi team so this is adventure uh, before other youtubers say use two weeks of your energy in adventure so you can level up your axes so it doesn't take four hours four to five hours to claim your daily limit for me i didn't do that i only did six days of adventure before the change on the seventh day i did all arena i did all arena with my 20 energy on the seventh day since then and i've been averaging 200 slp per day which is very nice i'll show you graph soon but now since everything has changed my 200 slp per day will not be will be less and i will update you soon with what my daily average is so to play efficiently in my experience on your first day beat the highest ruin you can finish so if that's ruin 5 you can beat it fully stay there and level up once you level up try beating the next levels until you lose once you lose go down one level and stay there until you level up once again and do the same process again on screen is where you can see what experience you gain per ruin which will help you level up faster the only reason you're using energy in adventure you can level up your axes so it takes less time farming the daily limit you still earn slp even without energy on adventure in arena you do need energy to earn slp my experience before leveling up your axes to level 14 to 15 and stay there and don't level up don't level them up anymore so you can prioritize arena to earn more slp per day on screen as well where the types of axes like what is the weakness and what they are strong against the reason i like axie infinity is one you earn money while playing the game and two it's like pokemon which is my favorite so this is the excel of i recorded everything of every slp i gained where i could fully play the game july 23 and then so on there are days that i couldn't play the game because of server maintenance e for energy and slp per game at the with the orange mark this is where i stopped doing uh adventure only this is my seventh day of actually playing and then i stopped and everything here and so on arena only and i've tracked everything i have here on the total these were my days 222 and then 372 and so on this is where i started doing arena only which i've been earning 200 slp per day so in total right now of recording august 9 total is 3860 slp averaging around eight wins per day i did 11 wins another time and i started recording what my rank was so seven because at 1300 you used to earn eight slp but now it's different it will be increasing you win some you lose some sometimes you get a win streak of winning and then sometimes you have a losing streak such as this one for losing streak and win and then so on you can see my everything here so i had 11 wins out of 20 9 wins out of tw 20 13 13 7 that is my worst ever since doing arena only here is my combo for my beast so he gets he does 170 damage with the uh, critical strike that i do and then the nut combo 65 i compute every time so that i know how to maximize my winnings so i know how to kill or how much cards is being used to kill the enemy of course you will always have to try and think and predict what your arena enemy will be doing such as will they shield their axie of course it's unpredictable you have to do be the judge for that you will predict how you will do it like there are i'll show you some clips of me battling other players seeing that if i would win 
how I beat them and sometimes luck plays a part luck plays a huge part on Axie Infinity because sometimes you just get bad cards and you can't even fight because your cards are just shielding you or doesn't do anything that you can't even use because they're too weak to kill the Axie so there's no point throwing the energy out yeah to efficiently play the game that's how you do it I studied it and I learned I've been farming Ruin 16 for 40 minutes to reach 100 daily SLP on adventure before but now I will still farm Ruin 16 and I will see how much you get or gain for that new season season 18 we will see quest is now 50 it should be 25 but we will see if it's actually 50 or 25 adventure is now 250 so we will, so we will see that later and I'm starting at 3,860 SLP, and we will see. Nice, 50. Will I actually get? Oh, break. Okay, so it only took me four matches to complete the thing. Now I just need to do 10 matches, which what you should do, since nothing matters anymore. Just go to stage one and keep beating it. Okay, moment of truth. Do we actually earn 50? 50 SLP. We still earn 100 SLP for daily quests, 50 SLP, and another 50 on adventure. So that's great. 100 SLP is the minimum now. So that's good. Before, I have been farming Ruin 16 for 40 minutes. Reach daily 100 SLP adventure. Now I only farm Ruin 16 for 18 minutes. Only took 4 rounds. I got first round 16 and then 12 and then 11 and another 11 so it took got me 50 in just four rounds 18 minutes but in total I had to play more to get that 10 adventure mode levels so it took me 25 minutes to play uh, Axie Infinity before it took me one hour and 40 plus now it only takes an hour and 25 minutes but it still depends on arena because your enemies are slower to react or attack because they think a lot before they attack there are bonus slp gain like ruin 21 you get 200 slp and ruin 36 you get 300 slp if you beat it of course you need energy to beat them because that's where you gain slp when you with the new system i still suggest leveling up to 15 because it only takes one week to level up 15 and so it only takes you a few matches and you're done so my efficiency still works until now with the new update now, my opinion on the game. If you should invest into playing this game or if you should buy. And like other investors say, invest money that you can lose or you're okay with losing. If you don't have money, don't do it. Because I saw the stats. For me, I saw the stats. I can pay back the debt after a few months. If the game doesn't go well, my prediction it will last until 2-5 to five years. So in one year, I have to grind a lot to pay my debt and I don't actually lose anything. Gain the money you owe in a year and you're good. No problem, you didn't lose anything, just time. As long as you got what you invested in, the amount of money you invested in and you got it back, you're good. No problem with that. You got to learn ex some experience about crypto and about the game and the risk. So you got your money back or gain more, which is great. This is just my opinion. I took a risk to do this, still up to you. Do it if you want to, if you have money, why not? If you have money to spare, then try it. Or if you get chosen by to be a scholar, then it's a win, you don't lose anything. Or if you just wanna help people, you could do that as well, which I will be doing in the future. Support me and I'll support you. You Well, you have a chance too. I can't really assure that you will win, but if you support me, then you have a chance. Remember, if you support me, you'll have a chance to be one of the scholars I'll be picking once I get the mon enough money to get a scholar. I will be uploading more of this in my second channel, so subscribe here and subscribe to my second channel so you know what to do on new updates. Uh, how to win on arena uh thinking strategy and yeah port those as well and i stream on twitch so follow me there i rarely stream since i've been focusing on axie that's what that's my main focus right now and that's how you play efficiently on axie infinity on arena though so everyone's gonna be talking about arena i have some strategies there so if this video goes well there's gonna be a part two and if that if it doesn't it goes to the second channel fun fact it's free so subscribe like this video, comment down below what you think. Thank you for watching, and that's all for me. See you in the next one. Hope you guys like the video. Leave a like and subscribe. And click that bell button so you get notified when I post another video.